Well, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, dear colleagues, I'm honored to discuss today my opinion on plastics in the circular economy with you. And I want to thank you all for the contributions you gave on my opinion. Plastics play an important role in our everyday lives and it has made life easier. It's a useful product for packaging and keeping things fresh and clean. But we cannot close our eyes anymore for the negative aspects of plastics. We find it everywhere nowadays. In rivers and seas, on our streets and our beaches, even on our plates, probably on your plate too, last night when you had the dinner. And my opinion has two main key points. And that's the first one is less plastics, and the second one is better plastic. And those two points are the two sides of the same coin. Less plastic means less kilos, less tons of plastic material, but also less kinds of plastics. Because all those different kinds of plastics makes recycling, circularity, extremely difficult and sometimes impossible. And better plastic means that plastics can be recycled on a high standard. And therefore, it is necessary that circularity is an important part of the design of the product. And we call that eco-design. Having said this, it is clear that local and regional authorities play a key role in the transformation to a circular economy for plastic. They are responsible, we are responsible for waste collecting and in many cases for waste management. But we have to transform to a tra responsibility for the whole chain. From the design to waste management, to redesign again. The responsibility lays there where the material is produced. And we will need financial tools to achieve this. As it's still very cheap to produce new plastics from raw materials. We have to stimulate the market for recycled materials. And also, we have to focus on the change in our behavior. We have to make the public aware on what they can do for a better and cleaner world. There's one more point. In the opinion, I ask for a ban on microplastics, which are added on purpose to all kinds of products, like toothpaste. And of course, we can do without those addic addic addictives, because we have done so for centuries. It's only for the last 20, 30 years that they are uh, ad, uh, added to those products. So yes, we can do without them. I spoke to many stakeholders, the Commission, the European Parliament, and we had a good discussion in the Enver Commission. I think that has resu um, um, resulted in a balanced opinion. There are four amendments in the plenary and I would like you all members for that. So thank you for that. If you allow me, Mr. Chair, I would like to give comment on the amendments one and two when we are voting on them. And last, but certainly not least, I want to thank my expert, Mr. Maarten Goorhuis, and the assistant from the Dutch Association of Municipalities, Mrs. Jody van Diemen, for all the work they have done to make this uh, opinion possible. Thank you very much.